Hello and welcome to iClone Tutorials. iClone Character to Horse. How to animate and link horses to characters. iClone now has horse live props that can be linked to characters or have characters linked to them so that you can portray horseback riding. These live props come with many different realistic horse movements for both idle and motion animation. You can choose from or combine these motions to create endless combinations of galloping, jumping, walking, and more. In this tutorial you will learn how to animate a horse live prop using preset motion animation clips, how to link a rider to your horse, and how to link a horse to the character so that the horse prop will retain the character animation in conjunction with the live prop motion clip. So let's go ahead and get started now. Animating the horse live prop using the timeline. Step number one. Load a horse live prop into the scene. Go to Scene, Props, Template or Custom, Horse Folder, and then double click one of the horses to load into the project. Step number two. To animate the horse you need to go to the Modify tab. Scroll down and locate the Timeline button. Click to activate the timeline and then right click on the gray bar under the keyframe fields. This brings up many different preset animation clips that can be combined to give the horse animation. For this tutorial use Act 13 Pesade, then Act 7 Start Walking, and then Act 11 Gallop. Click play to review. Step number three. Now that the horse has animation applied to it, you need to move the horse forward in scene to create actual movement of the prop. Move to the end of the project and select the horse and move it across the scene. Time your keyframes to coincide with the clip animation. You can do this by copying and pasting the very first keyframe where the start walking frame will begin. Make sure the animation clip carries out over the entire duration of the project. Scroll over the right side of the gallop blue animation clip until you see the arrows icon. Click and drag to lengthen the animation clip. Click play to review. Adding a rider to the horse prop via the link to feature. Step number four. Add a character to the project and then prepare to link the character to the horse using the link to feature. Bring the character into scene and then go to avatar character modify tab scroll down and locate the link to feature and then use the flyout arrows to select the warhorse prop step number five select the link node icon to activate the link to subnode menu this is where you will be able to select individual nodes for each asset and scene the horses set of nodes will be displayed after the prop is selected select character use the plus arrows to select the link character to human placement option be sure that you have a line position apparent checkbox checked on and then click OK to apply. Notice the difference in your character's position. Step number six. Now you need to position the character properly on the back of the horse as well as add a pose. Go to Animation, Motion, Template tab, Horse Motion folder, and select a riding pose. After moving the character into place, the character will now react to the prop animation. Step number seven. Again, move to the end of your scene and notice that the character animation is retained while carrying out the prop animation. Use the play pause button to review. Step number eight. Now you will reverse the linked options in order to link the horse to the character so that the horse retains the character's animation. Go to Avatar, Character, Modify tab, then scroll down and locate the character's Link to option and choose Scene Root. Step number nine. Apply a walking motion animation to the character in order to create the illusion of leading the horse. Go to Animation, Motion, Template tab, and choose a leading motion. Step number 10. Link the horse to the character by going to Scene, Props, Modify tab, scroll down and find the Link to feature, use the flyout arrows to activate the menu, and select Character 0.
Step 11. Select the link node icon to activate the link to subnode menu. You will be able to select individual nodes for each asset and scene. The character set of nodes will be displayed after the avatar is selected. Use the plus arrows to locate the right hand or R hand node. Be sure you have align position to parent, checkbox checked on, and then click OK to apply. Step number 12. Select the horse and click on the timeline to delete any keyframe animation that you still have on your horse prop. Apply a simple walking motion to your horse prop, extend that, and then position your horse prop properly. Now click the play button to review. With the horse linked to the character, the horse will follow the character's motion animation while retaining its applied animation clip data. Use the play button to review. The Horse Live Prop Pack is an addition to your content library that will open up many different project scenarios, making it possible to create rich western or old world themed movies, plus much, much more. With iClone and the Horse Live Prop Pack, you really can lead a horse to water. If you have any other questions, please feel free to visit www.reallusion.com or contact technical support.